Well, in case you missed it, the community is now getting a closer look at the proposed downtown deck plaza project. That's a project, Stephanie, sparking plenty of conversation and even more questions. That's right. And this as the project would be built above I-10 near downtown and KTS 70 News reporter Shelby Cap has more on the proposition. Everything costs. If you want something, you have to pay for it. But we, I'm sure we could manage uh, if we get some help from the federal government. El Pasoan Josefina Mendiola excited about the proposed project. Here you can see where the proposed deck plaza could be constructed over I-10. Now the ideas proposed at Tuesday's meeting show the deck including playgrounds, gardens, office spaces, a dog park, a stage, a pavilion, a plaza and more. But on the downtown deck plaza website, some are voicing their concerns, some over taxes. One person writing quote, I agree with others questioning an increase in taxes. Maybe we should get the rest the city cleaned up and properly repaired before adding more space that will need the same. The transportation planning administrator for the city says the goal is for the project to not be funded by taxpayers. If this becomes a, a taxpayer burden, that's going to be a decision that city council has to make. Our job is to really explore other opportunities, um, whether that's through federal grants, uh, state funding. Uh, there's a number of different opportunities, especially with the current administration. There's a lot of federal opportunities for funding coming down for projects like this that reconnect communities. Their concerns brought up were about the parking for the deck. Rodriguez says they are looking at utilizing parking already in downtown. The concept of building parking on the deck uh, is a really expensive proposal, um, not really the highest and best use of, you know, that sort of deck top, uh, deck top space. Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.